So hey guys, how's it going on? I hope you're doing well. It's your buddy ASG here and today we're gonna explore top 10 best completed Pokemon GB ROM hacks that were trending on an average scale on our channel during the previous month. It literally took me over weeks to make the video since my midterm exams were going on. Now we're gonna talk about some minor warning. Some games might have bugs which are still in the development process, okay? The list of the games I've chosen consists at least one or two features depending on storyline, engine function or difficulty improvements. So without wasting in time let's go for the showcase and explore the wonders. First of all, we're going to talk about Pokemon World Stadium by the developer Sakura GBC. The developer has been a very nice guy who really incorporated with me about the bug fixes and updates related to the game. Now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Meet and battle a lot of familiar trainers across the generations and other events. And proper difficulty and buff scale which makes the game more easier than Pokemon Radical in a practical way. Use the power gimmicks like Z moves, Mega Evolution, Dynamax at their full potential while battling. Check PC and radio team with any of the full powered Pokemon from across to generation 1 to 8 and there are custom forms by the developer himself. There are Pokemon or move tutors in the downstairs that lets you customize your battle items or needs. The battle system is arranged like tournament but the team collection is properly on your choice. I would like to recommend this game for the beginner players who are really sort of familiar with Pokemon battle stuff. On the list, next one is Pokemon Memories by the developer Mr. Toro Wing. The developer was working on this project like 2 or 3 years ago which got completed during in the end of 2023. So now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Explore a newly completed storyline with various kinds of unique events. Catch most of the Pokemon across generation 1 to 9 including Hisuian and Paldian forms. In the current update there was a confirmation about adding DLC forms from generation 9 as well. And function for double elite 4 battles which clearly indicates that you need to defeat two Elite Four members at once for more challenge. Team Rainbow Rocket will now make an appearance again as the villain side of the storyline. There are a lot of ultra wormholes to discover the legendary Pokemons around the region. You can use the power gimmicks like Mega Evolution, Dynamax at their full potential while using it on major battles. The game is also known for new rivals, new gym leaders and more familiar faces across the generations. Finally, there are some exclusive items like Link Cable, to evolve certain types of Pokemon. I would like to recommend this game for beginner players who likes new storyline type of game. On the list, next one is Pokemon Radical Red by the developer Supercell. The developer released the project during 2020 which got enhanced over time. So now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Explore the old Kanto but with the highest difficulty range and level caps. Catch most of the Pokemon across generation 1 to 9 including the custom Savi Island forms. In the current update there is a confirmation of DLC forms being added as well. Use the power gimmicks like Z moves, Mega Evolution, Dynamax at their full potential while using it on major battles. CFR engine enhances this game with Generation 9 abilities, reusable TMs, EV training gear, hidden abilities, fast turbo speed, various movesets from Generation 9 DLC, custom shiny forms, run indoors, battle terrain effects, ability pop-ups, poison survival. The sprites for every item, icon, trainers and Pokemon has been updated since last 4 years to maintain the good quality and better experience. Various move tutors, EV trainers are scattered around the region to help you with Pokemon stats, hidden abilities and movesets. The battle system has evolved as well. The developer maintained proper custom options for players to choose their needed settings. The deck snap part might be one of the best features the game introduced to us on a large scale. This item helps you to find Pokemons in the wild grass with proper navigation based on the day and night cycle. I would like to recommend this game to expert players who are more associated with difficulty training, okay? On the list, next one is Pokemon Ultra Shiny Gold Sigma by the developer Alex Sanchez. It became one of the best game around past years through evolving with each update. So now let's talk about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Exploration in this game is one step further. You're gonna start your journey in Johto, then you're gonna explore Kanto, Sevi Islands, Orange Islands, Alola region, Hoenn region as a post-game content. Catch most of the Pokemon across generation 1 to 7 including various Paradox forms and Paldian forms. Use the power gimmicks like Mega Evolution at their full potential which can be a biggest game changer in battle style. The DNS system was improved a lot. You can experience graphical changes based on day, night, afternoon, dusk, night according to your timeline. A lot of QL changes were included like Wonder Trade, EVIV screen, Poison Survival, Evolutions via items or levels only, Joy Checker, Skill Capsules, Shine Charm etc. Most of the graphical part including good tiles there are 
custom graphical changes for the diving spot as well. While you can defeat gym leaders and collect their gym badges from many other regions, it's possible to have rematches. I would like to recommend this game for beginner players who are interested in exploration. On the list, next one is Pokemon SWSH Ultimate by the developer PCLG and Gene Stars. The current one was the cooperative ultimate work on PCLG's project by Gene Stars, and later it got translated by developer Phantonomy or the translator. So now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Explore the whole Galar region alongside the DLC areas of Island of Armor and Crown Tundra areas. Complete the Pokedex by catching most of the Pokemon across generation 1 to 8, use the power gimmicks like Z moves, Mega Evolution, Dynamax at their full potential while using it on major battles. In the Ultimate Edition, the raid effects and battle raids are working perfectly. Several cool stuff like new movesets, new graphics, new wild area, fair types are being added to the game, new menu settings, Galar regional map, EVIV checker, new remastered songs, physical or special division, added the mugshot sprites for some events, certain type of evolution by only trade stones, interact with Pokemon overall sprites around the region. The Dexnav enchantment was one of the best function for completing a Pokedex. You can collect a lot of mystery gift Pokemon from Winden City while you're exploring the region. I would like to recommend this game for average players who likes more original storylines. On the list, next one is Pokemon Hyper Emerald by the developer Dave Sol. This game is like a series starting from major editions like Pokemon Hyper Emerald Z Destroy Farmer, Hyper Emerald Ash Locker, etc. Now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Explore the Hoenn region and seek out every hidden place on your side quest. You can collect every Pokemon from generation 1 to 8 including all Hisuian forms. Use the power gimmicks like Z moves, Mega Evolution and maybe Dynamax at their full potential while using it on major battles in the game. An addition of Gigantamax system which will be available with following some new settings. Added several maps of Hisuian area corresponding with the side plots. An increased portion of challenges from the previous protagonist groups, trainers and champions. You can complete a large number of side missions on your quest. The mainland Hoenn region is translated to English except the other island or regional parts. There is an addition of 40 plus QO features as well. I would like to recommend this game for the average players who are familiar with Hoenn regional type games. On the list, next one is Pokemon Fall of Heroes by the developer Hakanoka. Since it's completed on the mainland Kanto, now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. The addition of physical or special split division, improved outdoor graphics with much more detailing on the urban tile set, a lot of characters from the classic adventures, cool mugshots for the main characters throughout the journey, and multiple regional concept development although the Kanto is now available, measurement of good or bad that will affect your secondary missions or side missions, gain experience by capturing Pokemon like Generation 6, cool stuff like forgettable HMs, black and white repelorm systems, some movesets after Generation 3, etc. Explore the events of Kanto years after Red becomes the champion. I would like to recommend this game for new players who want to explore a new storyline. On the list, next one is Pokemon Nameless Version by the developer 1158. The short description for this game would be, you can discover the path by your choice. So now for some of the major features you'll get from the game. There are total 4 regions in the game which is called Sien Region, Western Town Region, Sevi Islands and Lander Region. Most of the Pokemon are from Generation 4 to 9, real mega evolution except for the first child Pokemon for being too much special, battle arenas take the place of gym leaders, the tournament takes place in the Sien region, so the league system is no more in the use. Skills take the place of HMs, try to learn more useful skills. There is a half open world type of gameplay experience after the Shady Town event. You can decide on when to begin with the main storyline by yourself. There is an in-game guide system called Think which allows Kroen or your main character to talk to herself so you can find out where to go next. Two difficulty modes such as the normal mode and dynamic mode. QL features like black and white repelorm system. I would like to recommend this game for the explorers who love to engage in new storylines. On the list, next one is Pokemon Blue Stars 4 by the developer Gene Stars. And you should know the fact that Pokemon Blue Stars is like series and this is the 4th edition. So now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Explore a whole new region alongside checking various events related to the escape of legendary Mewtwo. Complete the Pokedex by catching most of the Pokemon around generation 1 to 8 including every history and forms. Use the power gimmicks like Z moves, Mega Evolution, Dynamax at their full potential while using it on major battles. The grinding problem has been resolved by the addition of EXP 
share all. The level cap difficulty can be customized at the starting point of the game. You'll get a unique item called language, which helps you to change the game language to Brazilian, Portuguese, English, or Spanish. This would be a remarkable functional option till now. You can save your progress and obtain various daily items from the Pokestop mechanic, which is available on each route. Since it's a new game, I'd like to recommend it for both expert and beginner players to enjoy it. Finally, the last one is Pokemon Rocket Edition by the developer Dragon's Den. One of the major games I really liked after Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter for being too much adventurous. So now about some of the major features you'll get from the game. Catch most of the Pokemon across generation 1 to 8 or 9, including custom forms. The story just got a continuation on various regional areas like Kanto, Johto, Savi Islands and Hoenn region. Experience the real mega evolution alongside custom megas. Explore a more darker storyline for being on the path of Team Rocket, complete a lot of quests as a Team Rocket member and rank up to the highest of all, even further than Giovanni. There are cool stuffs like run indoors, EV training, physical or special split, improved basic stats, evolution via leveling up only, reusable TMs, forgettable HMs and graphical advancements. There are a lot of custom and unique sprites to check out around the region. In the English edition, the gameplay time is still extended over 70 plus hours. I would like to recommend this game for both expert players and the explorers. Thanks for watching the full video. You can rate the games via commenting about your feedback on the comment section. Now you may check the description for sources and leave a like if the video was helpful.